Hey Webworld, it's Scotty D for Interface and a quick product review today to teach you how you can protect your Mac from viruses and other intrusions. Now you're screaming at me right now. You're saying Macs don't get viruses. I have to install the program myself. I have to give it permissions to access the system. So how can I get a virus on a Mac? Well, it's very simple. Any operating system has a chance of being compromised. There's nothing 100% impervious, and Mac is no exception. And because of that, you really need an extra layer between you and a would-be predator or hacker out there that wants to get into your system. And wouldn't it be nice to have that peace of mind, that insurance, to have your system protected? Be honest with yourself. Do you really think your system is impermeable to a virus? Don't be naive because I guarantee that you have important data on your system. And I don't care if it's music or documents or pictures or whatever. That data is the most important thing to you. The operating system isn't. The computer isn't. Your data is important. So you need to protect yourself at any means necessary. And I think that for a reasonable cost, an application utility suite is your best friend to at least provide you a little bit of an insurance barrier between you and a would-be predator. The application that I want to talk to you today about is Virus Barrier X6. Now, it's an application, but I like to call it a little bit more than an application because it does more than an antivirus program normally does, which is just scan for viruses. Let's dive right in and let's take a look. This is the main console for Virus Barrier X6. What you're looking at right here is the overview screen. Now this is where you're going to spend a bulk of your time in this application. Not that you're going to spend a lot of time in it, because once you get it set up, it's really going to do its job for you. But when you are looking to get inside of the application and check things out or run some scans or diagnostics, this is going to be your main screen for the overall experience to Virus Barrier X6, which comes by the way of a company called Intego, and we'll take a look at that site in just a few minutes. So again, the overview panel of Virus Barrier X6 is where you're going to see what is turned on and how it's interacting with your system. Let's take a look around the screen just a little bit. Up here in the upper left hand corner you see malware and antivirus protection modes and you see that mine is sent to interactive and we'll go into what that means in the next couple of minutes. Below that you see a section with three bars and those bars are showing quarantine schedules and trusted files. What will show up here is the number of files that are in quarantine, the number of schedules that you have set up, and the number of files that you have in the trusted file list. And we'll go into what that means in the next couple of minutes. Right below that you see a real-time activity scanner. Now this meter will jump as your system scans files in real time and these numbers will increase sequentially and this bar looks kind of cool, it'll float around the screen. Right here in the bottom center of the screen you see a full scan and a select button. This does two different things. The full scan will initiate a full scan of your system when you want just by pressing that button. The select button will allow you to go in and select other peripherals that you have plugged into your system. Let's say you have an iPhone, an iPod, an iTouch, an external hard drive. Virus Barrier X6 has the capability of scanning all of those devices and keeping those devices also virus free. Now, if you also want to scan files by dragging and dropping them, you have that capability as well. Now, if I go over here and you see I have a PNG file that says Interface Webcast. If I downloaded this and I didn't get a scan on this, I can take it and drag it on top of the big green dot no and it will scan it detected. right away. And you hear that it says no viruses detected as well as visually writing it on the screen no viruses detected. If it did have a virus that green circle would turn red and I've got mine set to interactive so at that point it would ask me what I would like to do with it. Repair it, put it in quarantine, delete it, or I can even send an email off to somebody letting them know that hey I got infected by that file that you sent me. So be careful with it on your system as well. So just to the right of that, you see network traffic was a real-time network traffic scanner to show you how much bandwidth is being used on your system from an in-out perspective. Just above that, a blocked addresses list. 
web threat protection, and anti-phishing. You see green lights on this. For anti-phishing, it's turned on. Web threat protection is also turned on. And right now, I have zero blocked addresses. Blocked addresses are very cool, and we'll go into details of that in the next couple of minutes. And the firewall mode here on the overview screen. My firewall is set to client local server. Yes, Virus Barrier X6 has a two-way firewall built into the system. This trumps just about any virus protection software that I've ever used. And I've used some of the best out there, including McAfee and Symantec. Arguably speaking, some people will say they like others. Those are the two suites that I think are predominantly used out there in the Windows world, and none of them had this mode in it at the time that I used it. So let's walk through the buttons up here at the top and we'll talk about what each one of them is. The quarantine list is a self-explanatory list of quarantine files that Virus Barrier X6 has determined that are a threat to your system and you've told it to either interactively stick it in the quarantine list or if you have it set to automatically stick it in the quarantine list, they'll automatically show up right here. Trusted Files is a list of files by which you've actually gone through a quarantine list and said, wait a minute, that was a false positive. You thought that that was a virus, but I know that it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in my trusted files list of my virus barrier X6. Now what's going to happen is the next time this thing goes through and does a full system scan, it's going to overlook that file because it knows based on your instructions that that file is no longer a threat to the system. It's a trusted file. The schedules portion of the Virus Barrier X6 suite is exactly what it sounds like. You can set up a series of schedules to which you can scan your system or peripherals in a certain fashion on certain days and times. Very, very powerful. The scan settings is exactly what you've seen here on the main screen. Now you've seen mine set as interactive. I can click on scan settings and change it or straight from the main screen I can also click on the word interactive and it'll take me over to the same area. As will just about any other button here on the main screen. If you click it, it'll actually take you to the section of the Virus Barrier X6 suite. Now, I've got mine set in interactive. That means ask what to do. If it detects what it thinks is a compromise, it's going to pop up a little message to me and tell me, hey, I think you've been infected or I think you've been compromised. What would you like me to do? And then at that point, you can either stick it in quarantine, go ahead and put it into the trusted files list, repair it or delete that possible compromise. You can also turn off your real-time scanner. You can also set up that email to where if you do get listed as a compromised system, it will set an alert, which is really nice because if you have your system set up running all the time and you're gonna be out and about, you can have it set an alert to your smartphone or your smart communication device so that you know when you're out and about that you've had a compromise to your system. If you're really geeky, that might be important to you. The archive tab is where it's gonna scan certain types of archived files. So if it's a zip, a tarball, it'll actually be able to go inside of those files and open them up and scan them for you. Very, very powerful. Now what's nice about this is it has the ability to also scan other parts of operating systems. So if you have a boot camp Windows partition, it can scan that partition as well. If you have Microsoft Office running on your system, you can also scan for macro viruses against Word or Excel, and you can also protect yourself against a shared directory structure between your Mac OS and a virtual machine, whether it be a Windows or Linux. And of course, you have the Advanced tab. The Advanced tab is where you're gonna throttle Virus Barrier X6 and how it interacts with your system. I've got mine set to low, meaning low disk and low CPU priority over any application that is currently running on the system. I want it that way so I don't impact my experience on other applications. And if you have a boot camp partition, you can bypass that partition by making sure that this box is checked right here. Let's take a look at the firewall protection suite. The firewall protection suite is both for the basic user and also for the advanced firewall geek. You can actually have a lot of fun with this if you know what you're doing with a firewall. Let's take a look at all of the different settings. These are default settings that are already in your Virus Barrier X6 suite. You have no restrictions that if you turn it on, you see there is no protection of a firewall sitting on your system. 
You can also have no network, meaning you can isolate your system from any other system to include those that are sitting on the same network as your system. I've got mine set up as a client local server, meaning I want to be able to serve out system files or shared files and also surf the web and surf other things that are going on on my network. You can have a server only mode, meaning one way traffic out, and you can also do client mode, having traffic the other direction. You can also protect yourself from Trojans, which this list can be turned on or off. Back to the firewall rules. Again, I talked about if you are a genius in firewalls, you can go ahead and click on the advanced tab and go in here and set up your own policies and rules for your firewall. Very, very nice. Your anti-vandal tab right here is very good because you can go over here and protect yourself against ping attacks, denial of service stacks. You probably heard of that before. You can also add blocked addresses. So if you know a system that is constantly trying to hammer your system, you can block its IP address or its DNS name from being able to attack your system and also trusted addresses. So if you want to really lock down your system, you can make a list of trusted addresses that only have access to your system. The surf tab is very powerful, especially if you're sharing your system with other people on the same operating system. Maybe you have children that are using your system and you want to protect them from pornography or sites that are just not conducive to a safe surfing experience. You can blacklist that name of the website right here on the surf. And the privacy is exactly what it sounds like. If you have a data vault on your system that you share with other systems, you can lock it down and protect it right here within the Virus Barrier X6 suite. Earlier in the video, we talked about being able to go over to the Intego website very easily. Within the Virus Barrier X6, if you go up to the upper left-hand corner of your system screen, you'll see the Virus Barrier X6. If you click on that and go down, you'll see go to the Intego website. Intego is the maker of Virus Barrier X6. They have a couple of other suites of software that you might want to check out. But in and of itself, you can get free trials and if you need to go out there and renew or buy more software from them, this is how you would do it. Of course, you could see free trials from Virus Barrier X6. They have a security barrier. They have other application suites on here. You can get a free trial. If you like it, go ahead and use it. Now, Virus Barrier X6 will run you about $49 US annually. But when you think about what you get, it's well worth the money spent to have that insurance policy and that little bit of a fence between you and a would-be hacker. So there you have it, Virus Barrier X6. I highly recommend you this product from Intego. And if you'd like to see more videos just like this, keep it locked into Interface Webcast each and every Friday afternoon at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. And we'd also love to see contributions from you for tips, tricks, how-tos, product reviews, or blog entries, drop us a line at live at scottydonline.com. That's live at scottydonline.com. And don't forget about the gear store for all of your Interface Webcast cool gear. For Interface Webcast, I'm Scotty D. Take care, web world.